Okay, time for another short excursion in the Twin Otter. This one's going to be much more hands-on. We're in the Pacific Northwest in Washington State. This is an airport called Black Diamond, which I think is some sort of mining community. Uh, it doesn't look much from the ground. It looks much better from the air. It's really well in the scenery. It's very hard to find from the air. It's good. We're going we're gonna to fly to um, Fall City, 1WA6, but it is good to do this trip in reverse as well just because it's so hard to pick out the airfield. Um, okay, keeping it straight, very narrow strip here. A lot of rudder work required. We're supposed to be using rudder trim takeoff, but uh, honestly, it doesn't really seem to make a lot of difference. Well, it makes a lot of difference, but it's not, it doesn't seem to be necessary. Try the same. We'll just see if we can uh, get a glimpse of that strip from the air as we fly over it. We've got to turn around to head on course. We've got full city dialed in on the GPS. It's only 16 and a half miles away. So this scenery is just really amazing, absolutely fantastic, and uh, so hard to pick out this strip, even having just taken off from it. So we want to head on course, we're going to go on towards a pilot initially, select nav hold, where are we, we're at 3500 feet already, that's probably going to be sufficient actually, so we capture that. We don't seem to have captured that altitude very effectively. Let's try that again. I think that's captured. We do get an overshoot if we try and capture instantaneously just by pressing Alt. One of the you know, criticisms that's come up during the beta testing is that uh, this is totally reliant on the default Sobo autopilot implementation. And that's a little bit idiosyncratic, it doesn't seem to work 100% as expected 100% of the time. So that's something to bear in mind. A bit faster than we should be going there, even the red lines as well. Okay, so we're established on course, We've, we're holding 3,900 feet, which is, which is adequate to get over this ridge. Autopilot's behaving itself now. I'm just going to check out the the radar altimeter here. It should kick in as we go over this ridge because we're quite close to it. I've noticed that that seems very staccato in, in how it moves. It seems very like much like a stepper gauge rather than an analog gauge. Maybe that's how it is in real life. But we're coming over the ridge now, we're six and a bit miles to run, so we're going to start to descend. Press Alt to go to vertical speed, load, dial it down. So Fall City is a beautiful, very small strip. Again, it sits really nicely in the landscape. It's right on the side of the river, we can, we can use the river as a good guide to come in. So there's the strip dead ahead. We're going to hook it round and fly the river in. That's the best sort of approach really because it, it's much easier to avoid losing sight or losing orientation. We should have the waterfall kind of right below us. bring our speed back. There's the waterfall which is a good kind of final approach. VRP if you like. So 
there's a waterfall. Let's get all the flaps down. So the strip is dead ahead. Well, it's not dead ahead, it's sort of three quarters ahead. Just to the lower left of the windscreen right now. You can see we're pretty high. We'll do a couple of S turns. To lose a bit of height. It's a very narrow strip, this. So we need to be very adept with the rudder control once we're down, and that's even assuming there's no wind, which, which is kind of how we have it set up. At the moment, beautiful water mask in there. So we're going to creep around following the curve of the hillside and these trees. We want to do about 70 knots there, which, which, is, which is our final approach speed. At this way, we're, we're pretty pretty light at the moment. So I'm just finessing the power levers here, bringing a little bit back in to arrest that descent. But not too much. Those trees are kind of in the way on this, this approach. Okay, power's off. Concentrate on keeping it straight now. Bit of reverse. Tap dancing on the rudders. <laughs> Didn't make too good a job of that. But we more, more or less kept it on the field. Let's go around this way. So here we are, Fall City. And just for completeness, why don't we try the same thing in reverse? So if we start from Fall City and we'll fly to Black Diamond, that flipping truck's kind of suicidal. Alright, this is not a great way to. And that's it, do not enter, Mr. Mr. White Van Man. Hopefully we've got enough room to turn around at the end here. Not sure you'd really fly a twin arch out of here in, in real life. Let's see if we can turn around. Right then, let's put the parking brake on, we just need to let's set our rudder trick this time. Let's see if that makes a lot of difference. It is making a lot of difference, I might need to hold the left rudder this time. That's probably the strip actually right in front of us, like below the nose now. So if we do a little bit of a Yeah, right there just ahead of the prop. Right. 
so it wasn't so hard that time. Landing long. So we go, black diamond.